Hey viewers, how the devil are you? Well today is just a quick one to show you a bit how I uh, filter or pre-filter my used vegetable oil. As you can see I've got this uh, 44 gallon or 200 litre drum here. You might be able to see on the right hand side there there's uh, a bit of a standpipe that comes out to that valve and basically what I do is just uh, use this to pre-filter my veg oil. I'll show you how I do it. A while back I bought a couple of rolls of this uh, felt material off eBay, nice and cheap. It's uh, quite thick stuff and this is what I use to pre-filter the oil if I haven't had a chance to let it stand still for a long time. Basically the longer that you can um, let oil sit there and do nothing, the better off you are. The rubbish will drop to the bottom and it's less stuffing around and mucking about later on. For those times that you haven't um, got you know uh, the ability to wait six months or something for the oil to settle you can do it like this I just get the felt I push it down as much as I can to the edges just like that then I get one of these uh, cheap tie down clamp things just run it round just to the top Pull it tight, clamp it up and Bob's your uncle and that'll hold there like that. Now from there all you do is you put in your oil, you can pump it in or just pour it in, whatever you want to do. But uh, I'll just throw this in, as you can see this is fairly wet oil, it has to um, go through the dryer but as it hasn't been settled and it's probably got a lot of rubbish in it, I'll, um, I'll pre-filter it like this so I can get any muck that's in it out before I start and that'll save my main filter. Of course, trying to do a vid, I've, um, I've made that a bit low on that side but uh, probably won't matter, it'll no, just tuck it under, it'll be right. So yeah, so you just um, fill her up, you might be able to hear the oil running in, probably not over the, the noise of the traffic, but anyway, it, um, it just dribbles in, and that's it. Now what I normally do when I'm doing this, is I just come back each day, I, um, I just have a, a drum like this, this is a, a 25 litre drum, and then I just top it up to whatever it needs. Um, it will slow down, it's running fast now because it's obviously brand new material, lots of surface area, but it, um, it will slow down, and a lot of that creaminess as well as water is also fat. So uh, once it gets a layer of fat in it, it will slow down. Coming into winter here in uh, Australia, uh, I'm going to get a lot more of that. So it will slow down, but the thing is it just, it just filters finer. Um, when it gets too slow, I just basically leave it a couple of days, wait for the thing to drain, uh, undo that, and then just pick the whole lot up, throw it in the garbage bin, and put a new piece of filter there. So anyway, there you go, uh, that's just one way I do it. Obviously you keep um, topping this up till you've got a drum full and it saves the, uh, the filter on the processor I use which is a 5 micron uh, water filter. Hope, you, hope that helps, uh, don't forget to click the like button, uh, if it did uh, leave me any comments or questions and don't forget to have a look at the uh, other weird and wacky videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.